Hi traders, this video will introduce you to a set of gas strategy for part-time trading. Let me first explain the indicators. The indicators that we use are MACD 12269, 6CMA, 13SMA and PSR or parabolic SAR indicator on default values. Time frame is 4 hour and pairs traded are pound dollar and pound yen. Long entries are made when 6 EMA crosses above 13 SMA, MAC histogram turns green, PSR dot below the candle and that will be the signal for your long entry. Let me explain how it looks on the chart itself. In this example we can see that our long entry has been triggered here 6 ema crossed above 13 sma 6 is blue 13 is red and macd histogram is green you can see that the long entry has been initiated here our stop loss goes below this candle i will explain about 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 the stop loss but uh, the primary rule is it goes below the candle if you're going long or 70 pips maximum. Okay, that is the maximum stop loss 70 pips. And you can see that as soon as we got in, the price proceeded in our direction, giving us potential target of 80 pips. So first, I will explain the entries and then I will go with stop losses and targets so this is our long entry here another example we can see a long entry that has been initiated here okay and but guys when you see a kind of gap like this you don't trade you actually want to trade when there is no gap and here we had a gap that was subsequently closed so when gap closes the rule can be also that you can enter the market if signal still exists, as in this example. Okay, uh, another long entry was uh, initiated here. Okay, and you can see that uh, all our entries here were profitable. Okay, so this is about long entries. Now let me explain the stop loss and targets. So stop loss is always below the candle for long entries but never ever above 70 pips so before you make an entry you need to measure if it pays actually to trade because here at this example we can see that there is 54 pips to the candle low so you can actually place a stop loss of 60 pips and trade it obviously guys there will be non-tradable candles because if stop loss is more than 70 pips we don't trade so stop loss is below the candle or 70 pips maximum target is minimal target is 60 pips for pound dollar okay 60 pips for pound dollar or if 6 ema crosses 13 ema so let's say that you have traded this candle okay so your target would probably be hit it's like 100 pips okay and here you can also see that your target would be probably hit but sometimes you can extend your target for example uh, until you see a 613 cross as in this example so this will be probably much lower target because there is 1613 ema cross but yet again it would have been in in a profit uh for pound yen situation is a bit different let me show you a little bit different not much so still the same four hour chart and when six ema cross 13 ema you open a trade if you have also macd pointing to the north side by showing a green histogram so this is your long entry okay stop loss the same as for pound dollar but maximum stop loss for pound yen is 90 pips guys not 70 it's 90 so stop loss could have been here you see just below this like 80 85 to 90 pips maximum and target is a minimum target is 80 pips so 80 pips is the minimum target but of course you can as as i was showing you you can also wait for 613 ema cross to exit so the exit could have been here also
so this strategy i think guys you should try the strategy because the strategy is suitable for part-time traders who don't have the time to actually look for charts short entries are also th those follow the same rules just we need uh cross to the opposite side and red histogram so for this example short entry would have been initiated here see this is a short entry and here easily our target has been met stop loss same for pound dollar six uh, maximum 70 pips for pound yen maximum is 90 pips or stop loss above this candle's high so this candle's high is 38 pips i would go with 45 pips okay so this is or you can always use maximum stop loss for pound dollar 70 for pound yen 90 pips so we call it a dead stop so maximum stop loss is a called a dead stop so for pound dollar again 70 for pound yen 90. okay so this is your short entry your target maximum has been hit or you can wait for a cross to actually ride this trend another another long target is a long entry is actually here see uh histogram uh, green and uh, this also this this could have been see we could have made an entry here but you see there wasn't a green histogram so next green histogram here or it's much better here or there for for a good long entry you will notice that usually long entries will start with uh, bullish candles guys so you have that in mind that long entries also start with bullish candles for short entry let's use other example for short entry this is you can test your your entries as i do here see this is your short entry here okay do we have another short entry another short entry yes we have another short entry here see it's pretty much simple you don't have anything to worry about if you are if you are working on your day job your boss will not see you doing this so actually you just open your position and uh, you, it's either uh, stop loss or target price or sometimes guys there is also a trick if you have the time if your boss isn't so keen to watch you what you do on your day job you can actually uh, use profit stops so every four hour when candle closes for example you just need to move your stop loss let's say that this is our entry and four hour candle closed next let's say four hour candle close here so you just move your stop loss here a little bit up before the candle closed just a little bit more to the upside so you are effectively riding a free ride and you will be securing your profits same for long entries let's say that you have made your long entry here and this four hour candle gave you profits so when this four hour candle close so you just need to pay attention once in four hour so when it closes you just move your stop loss slightly below the close and you are effectively riding a free ride so use the strategy part-time traders don't worry about your boss and make some money if you have any questions about this strategy feel free to ask me cheers and as always trade safe